my dear students uh, good morning welcome to my channel i hope you are in good health and condition while staying at home having your week in this uh, vacation this morning i am going to share to you how you will write the subsection in your methods research methods and uh, procedure i think that's uh, uh, yeah uh, that's chapter three which is uh, the setting of the study. In writing the setting of the study, of course, there is a difference when you write the setting of the study in experimental and uh, non-experimental research. Let's take uh, the non-experimental research. In, in this uh, type of research, the discussions will focus on, number one, the location where the study will be conducted. And uh, of course, if it is an institution, you have to describe the institution, the structure of the institution or organization, the vision, mission, the goals and objectives, and uh, of course, if there are programs and projects related to your study, please include that one. Then. Please avoid mentioning names when you are discussing uh, the institutions. Make it uh, general. For instance, the institution is headed by by the school principal, headed by the division superintendent, something like that, or headed by a manager. Do not uh, mention the names in your discussions. Then, it's also important that you will provide the location map uh, in relation to other institutions in the area and uh, of course the location map will be discussed after presenting the descriptions of uh, the institution and uh, the location map shall be um, in a separate uh, page. Okay? So that's uh, for this. Uh, that's uh, what you will include in your discussions on the seating of the study if you are uh, if your seating is an institution or agency or organization if uh, your seating is the community please describe all about the community but not uh, to the tiny details or to the very specific details do not uh, uh, be to specifics in your discussions what's important here is you will be or the readers will be able to recognize the community where you will conduct this study and uh, of course descriptions may either be or may include the socioeconomic status the number of people the head of the, head of the community and the uh, 
uh, many others. Then, if there are also programs and uh, projects implemented in that particular community, which is uh, or which are related to your study, please include that uh, as part of your uh, discussions. Then uh, another important also is the description of uh, the location map, which is in the later part of uh, your discussions. And don't forget to um, provide the location map. Okay? So, a location map may either be area or it may either be uh, geographic. What's important, uh, sometimes we use, uh, I think, geophysical. Um, these are important uh, um, for you to uh, live in your research. Uh, proposal so that's for the seating which is community we will not question how you will how you will uh, discuss your seating of the study but our concern is for us and the readers of your manuscript understand where is really that institution, that community where you will conduct the study. Okay? Now, in experimental research, what is important here is the experimental site. There is a need also to discuss the laboratory seating or the experimental location. For instance, you are conducting um, an experimental research involving two groups of respondents, the experimental and the control uh, groups you need to uh, clarify describe the location together of course the environment of uh, this environment of uh, the uh, location of uh, the study and uh, one thing which is very much important is to provide an experimental layout the layout of uh, the experi experimental site for example it, it is a classroom perhaps the positioning of the chairs the tables and uh, be sure that uh, of course there should be equal in terms of environment in terms of the number of chairs in terms of other other materials present in in both the site for experimental and uh, control uh, site okay so description of the layout will be included in the later part of your discussions okay i hope it is very clear to uh, everyone thank you very much and uh, god bless you all